So this is where we will start. I've already created a header and I've given it a little bit of a style. And here's our styles. Here's our HTML. Nothing in the JavaScript yet. We're going to be doing a lot of console.log experiments, but we are linked to a D3 library version 5 and our empty JavaScript library. So for right now, what I want to do is create a section. And inside the section, I'm going to create some other tags so that we can put some text in it. So let's create a H3 tag. And in that, I'm going to say A and no A. And what I want to do is put a superscript on the A because the Pythagorean theorem says that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So the superscript is S U P close it and two and then close the superscript and then plus and then B S U P close it squared equals C again S U P squared Okay, so we won't be able to see this right now because we don't have any styles. So let's give them some styles. So the H3, I'm going to give it H3 color. And I'm going to go with orange because it's easier to see. But with the superscript, S-U-P, let's give that a color. Um, how about green? But, but this, I'm going to use a light green, so it's going to be hashtag 0F0, which is shorthand for 00FF00. That's CSS. So let's take a look. So we have this over here. Now, let's go ahead and give the a little larger font size. Double it up. I also want to give it a margin left of so I'm going to go ahead and give it a percent and then we're going to we need to style the section tag because right now we have that's all right but the section should only be because we need to make room for our graph let's go ahead and give the section a width okay so let's go back and to the HTML we might have we're gonna to have to keep coming back to the CSS but I'm gonna to try to keep that really simple so now let's make another h3 tag in fact let's go ahead and copy all this this is going to be where it's going to be dynamic so, since this is going to be not dynamic, we need to add a span here. First thing I want to do is take this superscript off the C because this is going to be, we're going to put these around parentheses first of all before we add the span and then around parentheses and then another superscript because these are going to be a squared plus b squared. After we add those two squares together, we need to take the square root, which we can write as one half. So let's take a look at that. Okay. So that's what we have right now. And so let's go to the JavaScript and do some coding experience experiments. Let's declare a variable num equals math dot pow the math the m has to be capitalized okay so that takes two numbers or two parameters two that's the base goes to a power of two and that means that we are at we get two squared obviously is going to be four Okay, so let's go and now I know this is redundant, but 
we're, I'm going somewhere with it. See, we get 4. Okay, but 4 to the power of 1 half is going to be 4 squared, right? It's going to be 2 because it's four, the square root of 4 is 2. And we get 2. So when we take a number to the power of a fraction, we take it, let's go do some more. Let's go 3. If we go to the 3 twos, which is a fraction, that's 4 to the third power. So 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. To the square root of, or to the root of whatever is in the denominator. So this is going to be 8 because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64 and the square root of 64 is 8. And so we have 8. So, I mean, we could do it with, with whatever. We, we could also do it this way. If we had, say, like we have math.sqrt square root of math.squared and I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And let's just say 4 to the third power is 64, but we're going to get the square root of 64. And that's going to be, I need to create another variable. Let's just go ahead and console.log. And we need the parentheses around here. So what we're doing, we're console.logging the square root of the 64, which again is going to be 8. And see, we get 8 again. So that's how that works. And so we don't really need any of that stuff right now. We could have done this by, instead of, take, instead of using the superscript, we could have used the symbol for HTML symbol, which is ampersand hashtag 8730. Let's see how that works. So we have the square root, little square root symbol right here, but it's kind of like it's 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 just awkward, I think. Uh, you can use that if you want. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and cut it and paste it down here, and is a comment. I would rather use the soup and then one half. Okay, so just, just know that this is the a squared plus b squared, the square root of that. We cannot just take the square root of a squared and add it to the square root of b squared because that would give us a, a, a wrong answer. For example, square of, of 3 is 9, the square of 4 is 16. You add those two together and you get 25. The square root of 25 is 5. So we have to add these two together. And this is, this is just basic algebra. And then take the square root of the sum of the squares. Now I don't really want to get too much into the math because I assume that a lot of you already pretty much know the basic math. But anyway, so now let's go ahead and make these more dynamic. We need to be able to change the value of A right here. Not We're going to leave this all static. But right here, we need to change the value of it when we change our input value. So let's go ahead and give it a span, give it a class equals a span. So that should be a single quote. Okay, a span. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and we need to do the same thing with a b. Oh, I need to close that span tag first. So b that's going to be a span class equals b span and then close that. So it's a span plus b span equals, we also need to do it right here, c span. Okay, so I'm going to break this up in, in different lines so we can analyze it better. So we have 
and break it right here. And then B and break it right here. So we have in our HTML, in our H3 tag, we have A span. We go, we're going to dynamically change that and squared, we, this, these will stay the same. B span equals C span. We need to change that right there. So let's go ahead and go back to the JavaScript. And so what I want, well, let's, let's do this. Okay, so it's, we're using the D3 library and that's the only library we have. And we don't really want to use vanilla JavaScript because it's, we have D3 already. So all we need to do is we get D3.select. And it's going to be, we, we would want to use all. So we're going to get dot a span dot let's get the html and we're going to set that to three so let's go ahead and do that this is how we're going to make it dynamic but later on we're going to create a form and we're going to use the form elements to populate these numbers right here this should be four for B span and copy it again C span should be 5 so 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 25 but we take the square root of that and we get 5 now later on we are going to use the form elements to give us the values right here and that's what that's how we will do it dynamically and we're going to put it all under a function and it's, and it's that simple so so now let's create some more space between all of our little elements in the equations so actually let's don't use css because that would it'd be a lot easier just to use a non-breaking space so what we need to do is right here no we don't need it right here this is the superscript let's do ampersand n b s p so let's copy that so we need it right here one before and after the plus sign before and after the equal sign and i'm going to use i'm going to keep the a really close to the parentheses but right here before the and after the plus sign and before and after the equal sign okay so let's see what that looks like and we'll save it and refresh see that's looking a lot better i, I think because we have more space there and but we want to keep our superscript close to the element that we are taking the power to the power of. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.